This right here is some sort of a trumpet. Oh, oh, this is an Apple IIc. Wait, 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 wait. So here we got some joysticks. Oh, look at these fancy joysticks. Look at this little tiny one, the power stick. Miss Pac-Man, that's Gianna's favorite right there. Pac-Man, and then of course we've got the 2600 right here. Uh, it's an Atari 2600. Win ten thousand dollars cash. Yes, yeah, super cool. Seven different figures in cards. Oh, oh, look at this. Okay, this box is cool. Oh my goodness, look at this. Life on Mars. That is sealed. Seventy one right there. Really cool stuff. Oh my goodness, Dungeons and Dragons. Aloha, Kawaii. Fourteen carat. Okay, guys, check this out. Boom. Open that. Oh yes. Talk about Star Wars. What is that? That you okay? It says 1943 right there. That's the end of World War II. That's ins it's really heavy. It's really heavy. I don't is that something to be worried about right there? What's up, Locker Nuts? All right, are you ready to go through some boxes? Tons and tons of boxes. Probably about three quarters of my trailer still full of boxes. And these boxes are coming out of that estate I bought. It was six lockers, two hours from my house. Uh, we last week loaded up the last lockers, three, the last three of the six lockers is in my trailer. Going through boxes, we meaning you and me, right? The last episode, I, I left that off earlier today. I'm back, I'm gonna start going through some stuff right in here. Actually, I've been going through stuff in here just trying to get garbage. The box is kind of interesting. I want to show you guys. Are you ready? Let's get going. All right, guys, I got the door kind of low because the sun's coming in. I'm trying to work right in here. But you see, I got my hand cart right here. Trailer's over there. I've been unloading, just bringing boxes over here. This is my locker, which was the train locker, the first locker that I went through. I've kept this, running it back. It's got all these nice shelves and so much room in here. 1230, very large locker. But going through this box right here, I thought, okay, I got to show you guys what's in here. Some plush I'm not too impressed with here. This is cool. This is some Chevron cars. Found a couple Chevron cars in this locker already, and I think we auction them off. They're very dirty. I think they've been on display because it's just tons of dust on them. But it's neat. Got four of those cars there. Always so fun. The Chevron cars. Doors open. They usually do some cool stuff. They got like a few little gimmicks to them. It's neat. That's a neat piece. That'll go to the flea market. Here, this is very cool. Look at this. Little beer tap. Schlitz wires here. So I think that lights, probably lights up. Uh, that's that's kind of neat anyways. I don't know. Print. Looking for the exceptional stuff to put aside. Look at this. Brit rums. I don't know. He must have drank a lot of rum. Look at this. All these little pirate rums. Is that worth anything? I don't think so. There's a lot of them. Right here in old Garfield. Funny. We found some Garfields already in this locker. Sold very quickly at the market. I think I sold for like five bucks or something. Too cheap, but one. See a date on it? Oh, I do. It's 1981. Again, 1981 on that Garfield. That's a neat piece. I like it. Little bears. It's a bunny. All right. Um, this one, it's bears. It says Mackenzie on it. I don't know what that means, but Boyd's Bears, I think, is a little better. 1985 to 1990 or 96. Oh, 1885, 96. So this is probably 96, but I, I heard that anytime you have an articulation like this in the limbs, it makes it a little bit more potential, right? Bears, I don't know. Maybe that's worth something. This one's a tie, 1992 tie. Okay, I think that's anything. There's a little blanket. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Some kind of presidential thing. I don't know. Market. Uh, a second amendment primer hmm. and a calculator all right, whatever whatever all right this guy right here why do i think this is something i will call the toy quest is that right um the batteries are dead i wouldn't be surprised if the batteries are popped in there it's like pushed up i bet you the batteries are swollen maybe not maybe we get lucky but i'm gonna take it home now for some reason i think these things might be worth some money electronic dog right here perplexus kind of neat I don't think really any value. We found some of these in the box. Just a neat toy though. This right here, look at this. This is another battery operated or other. Um, what's that say? Three ninety nine. I don't know. Was this really four bucks at a garage sale or maybe at a thrift store or something? It's a guy from. Uh, oh, what's the <laughs> thing right now? That cartoon. My kids love it. It does something with batteries and it looks like it's cool. Like I think it does a lot of different stuff. Take that home, put some batteries in it. This right here, look at this little pewter dragon. It's like he's grabbing this guy's cape. This all, maybe this is a scene from The Hobbit or something. A diamond right there. It says the cat and mouse game or something like that. Cat and mouse game. I think it says 1987. That's a very interesting piece right there. Cool. Then, da 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 da, we found this. I don't know what's in here. Peggy Noir, the jewelry box. Some jewelry, maybe? Another little pewter piece, little castle this time. It looks nice, too. Uh, maybe something's broken right there. There's supposed to be another roof or something broken. Who on that? Yes. 
earrings? That's weird. Her teeny gold markings. I don't think it's gold. Take it home though. Ooh, look at this. Okay. Okay. What have we got? Ooh, we got some potential in here, guys. <laughs> God, this we're funny. This guy was not married and he didn't have any kids, so what's with the women's jewelry? I don't know. That appears to be some silver right here. I do think that says 925 on it, but I'm half blind, so I don't know for sure. Okay, there's a pendant. Very cool. Got a dragon holding a crystal. Yeah, that's that's pretty nice. I don't think that's gold either. I don't know. These guys, it says something on there. I, I can't read it though. Could be gold, but I don't think so. But maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. There's the other earring. Ooh, there's another castle. These are either pewter or lead. That one might be lead. There's half of a heart. There's a button. Part of a pearl necklace or something. Piece of leather. <laughs> oh, whoa. What the... What do we got? Yeah. What is this? This is not gold. You can see how it's like gold on the inside, but on the outside it's worn off. So it may have been gold plated. Not seeing any markings. I got a loop in my truck. I'm going to go grab that loop and see what we can see. Because this is interesting. Okay, I got my loop. I see no markings on this, but I don't think that's anything, fortunately. But this right here, that is 14 karat. Okay, <laughs> little tiny, tiny thing. It's like a little pendant, a little diamond on there. So that's something. The rest of it, I don't think so. This right here, I thought maybe gold, but that's just a costume piece. So, yeah. Nice, but no. This was not gold there, so. But, um, yeah, still kind of cool. I mean, hey, like I said, I didn't expect to find any jewelry in here. It's just not that type of locker, so no complaints from me. Okay, this one, interesting, it says Mouser Electronics, okay? All right, it's a little bit of, well, a puzzle right there. Check this out. Hmm. Oh my goodness, I could probably use this. Oh, my garage. Those dang flies. I wonder how good that works. Kind of interesting. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put it aside. This, I put boxes like this together right here where I put all the best stuff in there. Stuff, okay? And uh, that'll go home. We'll do a second pass on it later on. Uh, Huh? Oh, dang it, this is an IPP, but where is it? Oh, pieces. That's neat, IPP. Look at that, it's cool. I'm gonna put that aside. IPP stands for International Puzzle Party. We'll keep the instruction book at least, but where's the rest of it? I don't know. Map tax. What's that? I don't know, this guy was a tinker. He created a lot of stuff. Look at this guy. Hmm. What's in here? Nothing. What's in here? Nothing. The puzzle right there. Empty. That's kind of neat. Oh, goes right there. Ooh, that's cool. Enterprise. He's a big Star Trek fan too. Sunflower. That's another IPP. 22 Belgium. And then there's some kind of electronics or something. Star Wars glasses. Episode one. I don't know what that is. Next box, check this out. <laughs> That's actually really cool, right? Chalkboard, neat. Looks like all paperwork. Okay, here's what we're going through. This is what the trailer looks like. A veritable wall right there. That's Uncle Mike's packing job. Uh, he filled every square inch. He was actually why we were able to make this lockers in one last trip. Get it all because it's packed so tight. It took me a while to get it all out, but that's okay. It's the fun part, really. Um, a lot of stuff to go through. This is, uh, you, you see how much we've gone through here. It was packed to about right here. And this is a 16 foot deep trailer. So there's quite a bit of stuff here. That's why I'm not showing everything on footage. I'm just trying to show the best stuff, the most interesting stuff. Because there's just a lot of stuff. I do see some toys up here, like broken crutches and yeah rice cooker okay yeah there's a lot of that kind of stuff there's some cool uh thermoses or whatever plastic bags yeah this is neat right here it's old cooler that's actually a really neat looking piece Let's see if there's anything in it stuff in there check it out this cooler probably 25 30 bucks at the market the one Okay, let's see what's in here. So this is Hawthorne on it. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, Hawthorne. I think the last cooler that we found like this had a beer uh, brand on it. So this is probably not that. It's just a, maybe a cooler brand. Uh, look at the rubber seal on there. It's like totally old and a little grody. Actually, looks almost like it became tar. What's that? I'm not sure. Let's see what this is first. Bio Troll. Oh no, flow, <laughs> flow troll, flow troll. 
made in the USA. It's cracked right here. I wonder what that is for. Okay. This is, I think, something to do with fishing. I think that was a fishing... Maybe. I don't know. This is air pump. I don't know what this has to do with now. What's this for, you guys? What's that for? That's wood. It was painted at one point. Oh, it's actually kind of neat. Painted. I don't know. Whatever. Huh. There's an old lock right there. Old pieces of copper, maybe. I don't know. What's this? Dentures. Nope. Fishing weights. Okay. Little weights or lead or something. I don't know. It almost looks like buckshot for it's just a little bit of metal. It's all rusted up. I'm not sure what the reason for putting that in there was, but uh, yeah. I don't know. We'll get this cleaned out and bring it to the market. What's this though? Okay, so some decorative. Hmm. So where would that go on top of a railing or something? It's pretty. It's only three pieces of it, but um, we'll bring that to the market. A better, better market. That's going to Deanza. I don't know if that'll sell, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, next box. Ah, oh, Patron. Some more tequila. What was it before we found rum? I don't know. I guess this guy was a drinker. What? Accident. <laughs> what? I don't know. There's some glass. You know what I'm going to do? Um, I'm going to start putting glass aside. We'll recycle it. So we got a nice little bin right there. Oh, what's this? What is this? Huh. I think it's just resin. It's pretty neat looking though. Seems to be in good condition. That's cool. Hmm. Okay. A little jug. Ceramic jug. It says USA on there. Is that worth anything? I don't know. Do you guys know if that's worth anything? Comment below if you know anything about those types of things. These, I don't think so. That's some thick glass right there, and that'll probably be some good recycle value. I don't know. Maybe this is worth something. I have no clue. Looks pretty nice. Another one. That one says pirate. Well, I think that, you know, you know what I mean. Ooh, that one's cool. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Okay, there's another glass. There's the topper for that. It's this is very heavy. I don't know, guys. Maybe this stuff is worth something. The teeny glasses. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know if this stuff's worth anything at all. Okay, guys, it's getting like close to 100 degrees. Uh, or it might be 100 degrees, I don't know. But um, hot, especially now that the sun's hit me. I got another stack here. I was going through it. I got to stop and get the camera turned on because look, look at this. What is that? <laughs> what is that, guys? Oh, try to get the light right here. That, you, okay, it says 1943 right there. That's the end of World War II. That's a 37 millimeter. Please tell me that's not live. What the heck? M74? What the heck? That's crazy, right? Oh my goodness, that is, that's, ins it's really heavy. It's really heavy. I don't, is that something to be worried about right there? I do not know. All I know is that is super, super duper cool. What is that? Sound gizmo. Oh man, that looks really neat. Got all these different jet plane, phaser, explosion, gunshot. Cool vintage piece right there. Definitely uh, seen better days. Definitely. Still kind of neat though. What else we got in here? Whatever that is. I'll throw that in my toy bin over there. It's kind of a neat little box right here. It's just junky junk, but I think that's for rivets or fasteners of some sort. Oh, look at that. Harmonica Sonata. Made in Poland. That's pretty dirty, but you know what? I got to give it a try anyways. <laughs> that is lovely. Lovely. Look, it's interesting because it doesn't pass through right there. It comes through here. Is that the way harmonicas normally work? I don't think so. I do think so. Just a bunch of neat little doodads in here. A couple antennas right there. Actually, those are in good condition. A old, old calculator. Another, ooh, that's a nice one. Look at that Casio. Ooh, this one's got sound. No batteries though. That is cool. I think I used to have one like that when I was young. A little bit of brass. <laughs> a little drum. Scissors. All right, well, I, don't, I don't see, ooh, that's another piece of brass right there. Ouch. <laughs> we are putting the better metals aside. It's aluminum, brass, a little bit of copper. Good stuff goes in there, as I mentioned earlier, or I think I mentioned it earlier. Oh, look at that. What is that? Flask? Lighter? No. I think you put cigarettes in there. That's kind of neat. A little camel. That's I've never seen one of those before. A little cigarette case. 
I was just about to say maybe that's it for this little box, but maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Another one of those. Oh, there's another one. Hmm. Alright, I think that's it now. Pretty cool. Wait, what's this? Cigar case. But wait, what's this? <laughs> what is this? Huh, little pewter pieces for something. Okay. Whatever. Aluminum. Alright, that time is for real. We're done. No, wait. Hmm. Now we're done. Alright, guys. I haven't filmed too much because, um, well, you can see the sun's no longer beating on us uh, because it's getting late. It's almost 8 o'clock. Facility closes at 8, so I got to wrap this up, and that's what I've been doing. I've been just trying to hustle my muscle and get that truck loaded for the dump in the morning. Um, so I wasn't filming too much. I was just bringing boxes, but I'll tell you what. I got like three or four boxes here that I opened, and I'm like, whoa, these look really good. Really good. Interesting and good. Video games, comics, and antiques. That's, I mean, I'll give you a little sneak peek. That's what's coming up. I'm about to head out of here, but uh, don't worry. I'm be, I think I'll be back here tomorrow picking up. We're not going to end this video. We're going to keep going. Well, we just started the video, so of course we can't end. But I'm going to pick up tomorrow uh, going through these few boxes that I found that are, are they look really good. All right, let's go. All right, good morning, Locker Nose. Just like that, uh, new day. New day, uh, went to the dump with the truck. Well, just the back of my truck. Wasn't completely full, but dropped the kids off at school, went to the dump, now I'm here. It's nine o'clock in the morning, I'm ready to get started. Let me show you some of these boxes that I thought were very, very interesting. It's nine o'clock, I'm ready to get started, and I, like I said before, I've got a few boxes here that we're gonna take a peek in. I'm kind of excited about these. All right, first off, this came out of this box right there. We're gonna take a look at that in just a second. Uh, cause that box looks really cool, but this one right here, check this out, they got a bunch of comics, and right here on top, we got some Star Wars, classic Star Wars, Dark Horse comics, I don't think these are too valuable, but they're cool, definitely cool, anything Star Wars is cool in my opinion. There's some Star Trek, and gets into some random stuff here, mm -mm, maybe some adult stuff, dang it. Yeah, he's had some adult comic books, and uh, those aren't the ones we like to find, but I see a bunch of stuff here, maybe like graphic novel type stuff. Some of these books I've found have been like 100 bucks for a book, so um, there's a few that I found that were in that price range. So I am kind of excited about some of those books, even though they're heavy. This box is heavy. Oh, I'll put it up there. I think all these boxes up here are books. Uh, unfortunately, this section is getting a little bit full. That's all video games, vintage video games, obviously comics. Um, I'm kind of, I'm getting a little bit organized. Up here is puzzles. Over here is stuff to go into our live auctions. I think I showed this yesterday. I'm not positive. The Atari. Yeah, I showed that yesterday when Jenna was here. This is from earlier. A bunch of DVDs in their anime stuff. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. But let's let's get this right here. This, so this looks like some antiques. Copper, I, I believe that's copper. This looks like tin, maybe. <laughs> Just a really neat looking kettle right there. I think if you had like a cabin or something, that would look so cool up on the shelf. Actually, this looks like that kind of stuff, totally. This right here is some sort of a trumpet, and it appears to be copper. Maybe it's brass and copper. I thought these were mostly brass, but that looks copper. Maybe it's decorated. Look at this. Hmm. Neat wood, uh, what, what do you call this? A barrel? I don't know. It says Mellon or Meller and Company, Ironstone, China. That's a neat piece. Older. And some electronics. That's just a very odd thing to have in here in this type of stuff let's see what else we got <laughs> plastic martini glass mm, what is that it looks like a i guess it's a mug uh, wrapped with some leather strands here kind of cool right i mean look at that stuff that's just neat i don't think that any of that's yet oh look at that nice How do you do this? <laughs> okay, that's terrible, terrible locking up. It's terrible. Obviously, I never played in the band. <laughs> I never had band. I was never on the band team or whatever. All right. Beer man's beer works. One half gallon of ale. Hmm. I don't think that's worth anything, but we'll just take that to Stockton. 
It sounds so terrible. Sorry all you Stocktonites that watch this and go, why is he always dissing on Stockton? Well, you probably know why I'm dissing on Stockton, because if you live in Stockton, you know what I'm talking about. People out there are cheap. Apple pie? I think that's like a moonshine. Or it was a moonshine, I believe. There's another little bottle right here. Found a whole bunch of these little bottles already. Ah, oh, that's right. I took the stuff home to my... I put it in my recycle bin. The glass inside, we'll recycle that. Yeah, the good stuff's got to go where the money is, and that's not in Stockton, unfortunately. Granny Smith, all right. A couple more glasses right here. Glass. All right, it's looking more like glass now, but there was a few cool pieces here, so I'm happy about this. Oh, that's kind of neat. Sourdough pot. Your dough will rise with homestead savings. What? So this is where you put the sourdough in here, like to keep the um, the uh, culture or whatever it's called. Hmm, that's neat. All right, I guess we are finding some more neat stuff. Bottle opener, I think. Huh, it's got chips in it, unfortunately. A glass bowl, just kind of neat. It's got little coins on here, but little chips on the rim. I don't like that. So the glass bottle, glass cup, and the glass bottle. Some utensils here. Asim Broso, it's a tequila. Huh, okay. Saint Sebastian. I think these are just liquor bottles. They're just really fancy liquor bottles. I'm not sure why he kept them. That was kind of neat. Ah, dang, it's got a chip right there. Is that a deal breaker for someone? I don't know. Another bottle. And then the last piece right here. Yeah, it's a little fountain. Okay. Yeah. That was kind of neat. I found that earlier. Beer, five cents a glass. Wood sign. It's just neat. I found that earlier too. It's a pig basket. Very dusty. I think once it's cleaned off, it'll be just kind of interesting. A neat piece to have up on the table, you know? I don't know. I just like stuff that's different. Here's a lobster. I don't think I showed that either. Made in China. Uh, again, just not nothing terribly valuable, but just kind of interesting. Here's a little decorative little can or something. Okay, next of the stuff I put aside last night. Check this out. Atari 800. It's very interesting, right? Old Atari. Old Atari stuff. Look at that. Left cartridge, right cartridge. I think this is pre-Atari 2600. I'm not positive, but I think it's pre-2600. Maybe the numbers, maybe 800 comes before 2600. I'm not sure if that's how it really works. But then right here, look at this. Atari 400. And we got a joystick here. Um... Oh, that says Apple II right there to the Apple II, but I don't know if that's an Apple joystick. I think it's an Atari, but I don't know. I don't, or maybe just some other company. Oh, oh, this is Apple IIc. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't see this. This is an Apple IIc. I'm almost positive I used to have one. Apple computer, huh? Where does it say? This is an Apple IIc. Very cool. It's missing some parts here. It's missing these covers back here. The Apple IIc, uh, this is the thing. It was a portable computer. <laughs> portable computer. Hilarious, right? Like, that, that. yeah. You need a monitor to go with it, but... Um, wow, how cool. I actually have not had one of these in my hands in so long. So long. Uh, right here is an Atari power supply. And then right here... What's this? This is the Apple power supply. Okay. Yeah, it does look familiar to me. Very interesting. So that's cool. Over here, I don't know if you can see back here, but we got some Atari uh, Apple stuff. There's an Apple II right there, and there's another joystick. That's the Apple stuff that I found in this locker over here, which is what I was saying earlier, or maybe it was in the last episode, I don't remember, but it was right over here. We found a bunch of a bunch of Apple stuff. So here we've got more vintage computers, and that's super cool. That's super cool. I don't think it's terribly valuable, but there's a little bit of value, but there's just that cool factor that uh, I get a charge out of. Okay, and then the last box of stuff to go through before I go get some more stuff out of the trailer. Yes, and this said something about Atari stuff, and this is the real uh, deal, right? I mean, this is the Atari, the Atari, the 2600 right here. That's what I see down there. So here we got some joysticks. Oh, look at these fancy joysticks. Tron network. <laughs> look at that, it's got a cord. Oh my goodness. What? That is weird. That is a weird setup right there. What is that? That's just like a, a gimmick. It's a very strange gimmick. Um, there might be a little bit of value in that. 1983. 1982 Walt Disney Productions. What? Hmm. It looks like an Atari connector right there. I mean, it is. It is an Atari connector. Looks just like that. Here we got some Atari controllers. 
Man, that's in rough shape. Look at that. It's all rusty and crusty. There's a switcher. Hmm. Paddles right there. Another funky little uh, joystick. This one's by Suncom Incorporated. Very dirty. It's dirty. Look at this little tiny one. The power stick. Huh. Oh, we got some games. A couple of power, uh, power uh, cords there. What games do we got here? Super Cobra. Combat. Fast Food. Miss Pac-Man. That's Gianna's favorite right there. Trick Shot. Miniature Golf. E.T. <laughs> that's funny, right? That's, I think, uh, one of the worst games ever. Pac-Man and golf all right i don't think any of those are too valuable and then of course we've got the 2600 right here very dirty kind of gross actually uh oh man rough shape dang it dang it dang it dang it mm. that sucks peeling off the label mm. that's really too bad well can we get enough information off this i don't know serial number 387121 uh it's an atari 2600 Really rough shape. Why is that plug like that? It's weird. Um, four switch. I think that I don't remember if it's the four switch or the three switch that's better. I don't know if it really matters, but well, anyways, uh, it is what it is, right? I mean, it's in rough shape, but it is still an Atari 2600. It's still cool, fine. I don't think it's very much. Uh, these are not that collectible, surprisingly. Uh, they're not as collectible as if we found a Nintendo Entertainment System. The NES is worth much, much more. All right, guys, I went through uh, actually quite a few boxes before I found some cool stuff. Uh, this I wanted to share with you. First of all, this is, uh, I'm not, I don't remember what the name is on these. They're little stickers, almost like Garbage Pail Kids, but these predate Garbage Pail. So they're before 1985, and I don't see a date on them, but they're all like, like joke products. Like Her, She, Mr. Goodbye, The Last Ride Candy, um, Gin Scotch Vodka, Rye Rum, Boozo... <laughs> Gum, Goon Man's Looney Noodles, Dimwit Do Dots, Dr. Popper, 12 mind blowing ounces. He's got his head popping off. Top Slob, be the top slob in your neighborhood. <laughs> Gurgles Barely Edible Cereal, Ready to Spill, or Mama's Papa's A Kitchen Floor. Uh oh, On Mappa's. Oh, funny. I just actually see a typo there. It says on Mama's, it's supposed to say and Papa's, and they put the ampersand after, or Mama's and Papa's kitchen floor. That's pretty funny. Unpopular mechanics. Oh, Harry, fuzzy chocolate. Pretty funny, right? So these, I had these as a kid. This is right up my alley. I'm thinking this is early 80s, like maybe 81, 82. I might be wrong, but it is by Tops. Pretty cool. This right here is cool. Garfield stickers. It's copyright 1978. These are like those puffy stickers. They were popular back then. Uh, what kind of stinks though is that it's cut wrong. So that would be kind of like an error card. But I think these are what you'd find at the gro grocery store. It's unpunched too. But um, I don't know if any of that matters. You see a little copy right there. But they put this crooked. And they also cut it crooked. They just The printer messed that up pretty royally. Down here you can barely make out made in the USA. So anyways, kind of neat. I put it aside. This right here. Look at this. Pacificon West Coast War Gaming Convention and that's from 1980 I was 10 years old this is at the Dunphy Hotel in San Mateo I, I that's just really really neat that they had that back then uh, man probably that was pretty awesome to go to hmm neat I think it's neat uh, this Casio calculator this is just the box but I think we may have found that calculator. See, it's got the little uh, music symbols. We did find a musical calculator, ML720. If that's the same one, I'll put it aside. Maybe we can patch that, uh, pair that up. So it'll be worth more with the box. This, not worth anything at all. This is a uh, little rubber band for your braces. I just thought that was kind of funny because I used to have braces. And as a kid, they gave us this exact same uh, envelope. Like, I, I mean, I had that in my backpack bringing it to school. It's just a throwback. Speaking of throwbacks, here's uh, Mad Magazine from 1980. I know I owned that back in the day. Um, this guy's a little bit older than me, but apparently he uh, <laughs> he wasn't too old for this. I think he's a good uh, 20 years on me, which is surprising, right? Because that would have made him like 30 when this came out. But whatever, I'm not, no judgment here. I haven't matured since I was 10, but anyways. Uh, this also, just a really interesting thing from Metagaming, press release. A $10,000 treasure hunt. It says a 31-ounce sterling silver dragon has been hidden somewhere in the United States. Clues needed to find the silver dragon are in the Treasure of the Silver Dragon, a fantasy role-playing game module. Wow. Isn't that cool? What a neat promotion. 
$10,000 treasure hunt. Find the treasure of the silver dragon. Win $10,000 cash. But in the cash was the silver dragon. Neat. Neat things. Right? I mean, I, I would be interested to look that up and see if anyone ever found the dragon. Flying Buffalo Games by Mail. I thought this was also interesting. I wanted to share it with you guys. 1980 again. Look at this. Flying Buffalo moderates play by mail computer games and also produce a variety of packaged face to face home games, accessories, blah 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 blah. Play by mail computer games, guys. I just want to stop and just make sure uh, that we have a little perspective here. 1980, guys, this is pre internet, at least pre internet for the masses, pre internet for the public. I think maybe the internet was around for like universities and research facilities, but not for us, right? Computer games play by mail, games by mail. What a thing, right? But um, we were just, I think back then, just seeking out ways to interact with other people, play with other people, and do it in a forum that we all uh, were so into, which was computer gaming. But back then, computer gaming was mostly a solo experience. So anyways, just really neat stuff. I don't think there's any value in this, but there definitely is cool factor. Interest level high. Um, I like it guys, but one of the reasons I love this job is finding things like this things that are a throwback for me Personally that are nostalgic, but also that give us that perspective today now in this age of how things were not that long ago like I remember pre call waiting like pre obviously internet pre email I mean, this stuff is like, we take so much for granted, cell phone, smartphone aside, like even before that level of invention of technology, like things like call waiting, we were just completely amazed at that we were on the phone and, and could actually know when someone else is calling us. I heard the, uh, this very same thing just being talked about on the Joe Rogan podcast yesterday, or maybe it was the day before yesterday, whenever it was, I was just listening to that. And right now I'm just seeing this stuff and it's just reminding me like, wow, like how much things have changed. And then here here I just found an Apple IIc. That's the computer that really, like, I really fell in love with personal computing. I think I had an Atari or something. Oh, no, a Commodore 64. I had a Commodore 64. I knew how to do nothing. I did not enjoy that. But the Apple IIc, I was actually trying to teach myself how to program. Didn't get very far. But I had a lot of fun. And who knows how far that got me in my learning process that when it, I finally got a computer that I could actually do stuff with, which I think was the Macintosh, um, the Macintosh 2 2e or something i had a mac um that one it was all over i was in love but the apple 2c like these things were just amazing back then and this locker is allowing me to relive it thanks you guys for letting me vent about that to share it um i love it i love this job and i love stuff like this okay the last thing right here uh your personal invitation to adventure understanding dungeons and dragons <laughs> it's so neat right Welcome, TSR Hobbies Inc. invites you to cross the threshold of adventure and enter an exciting new world where imagination re reigns supreme. So neat, kind of like just a little intro to Dungeons & Dragons that's dated 1980, as all this stuff is. Conquest is a promo for a game. What's this here? Uh, Conquest, okay, more stuff on the game. It's just the game information. And then look at this right here. Race slash creature description. This is all for, I think, Dungeons & Dragons stuff. Yeah, you roll a dice and you figure out how strong your guy is, how much dexterity, mental strength. Um, these are obviously obsolete, these sheets. I'm sure you can print one off the internet, but I haven't seen an actual sheet in a very long time. Okay, guys, it's been a while since I updated. Uh, been through a lot of boxes, just not that much good stuff. I mean, a lot of puzzles. Actually, let me show you real quick. I did a little bit of moving stuff around and put computers over here. This is now mostly all puzzles. I think that's some books right there, but other than that, puzzles. All that up there, all the rest of here, maybe a little bit of the pewter figures. I'm starting to put puzzles down here, and those are puzzles right there. So finding a lot of puzzles, that's great, but how many puzzles can I show on TV? I mean on the YouTube, right? <laughs> I said TV. That's kind of funny. So this right here says gemstones inside. Not exactly gemstones. There are chunks of... Um, I don't know, it looks like different types of stones have been cut into slabs and these are just little fragments. I don't think those are gemstones. They're very pretty, but not gemstones, not gemstones, not gemstones. So, is there any value here? I actually found a huge box of them also. Uh, tote, and the tote was cracking and falling apart. is extremely heavy to lift, so I took it to the dump. I don't know, maybe I'll take that to the market. See if anybody wants to scoop it up. I seriously doubt it. So right here we've got a book called Art of Disneyland. Uh, unfortunately, it's been a little bit bent. 
Uh, these art books, these coffee table books with Disney usually do sell. Um, look at that, that's a $50 book, my goodness. $50. It is a beautiful book. I love this stuff. I do. All right. Um, because it just reminds me of, again, nostalgic being a kid. And speaking of which, uh, look at this right here. I didn't have this as a kid, but this is 1983. It's a Star Wars puzzle, Return of the Jedi. Just cool. 1980s stuff is very cool. Uh, this right here, it just had to, come on. You know why I had to put this aside, right? Kind of, oh, well, for one, it says nuts, right? Locker nuts, get it? Drive you nuts. For two, it's made in 1970, which is the year I was also made. So that's kind of neat. But yeah, a little puzzle here puzzle game i don't know probably no value there it looks like it's missing the bottom this right here said world's smallest puzzle i had to open it and see what what's that about it is not a puzzle it is not it is not uh it looked much much neater there's a little tiny dice right there i'm not sure what that is almost looks custom made these look older this might be a big light right there Actually, they mo both might be big light i don't know oh look at this it's a pin the little basket and cards you can flip the cards to show what you got. That's different. A couple little coins here. Queen Elizabeth. It's 20 pence from 1983. This one here is a penny. One penny. All right, whatever. Uh, what else we got? A couple more pennies here. New penny. It says new penny. <laughs> it's one penny. Is that from England? Do England... Uh, does England currency have pennies? I'm not sure. I didn't know. But that's neat. I do have a box here of just like little miscellaneous doodads and... Old lighter, amethyst, there's a pin, just cool stuff, keys, rings, I don't think there's anything precious, but we'll check at home. These are kind of cool right here, these dungeon dice monsters, so where did we sell one of these recently? Oh, I got it. I just realized we had a whole collection of these things. This one's brand new in the box. I'd never re made the relation. Uh, I did sell one of these sealed brand new. And this one, I see them in there. We had a whole set of these that we sold in our live auction. It went for a few hundred bucks. This one right here looks like it's still sealed. That doesn't look too... Uh, the turtle, I don't know. He mangled those up quite a bit. So anyways, those are kind of cool. This right here is neat. Uh, again, this nostalgic... Uh, you know, relevance that some of these items have for me. I had one of these as a kid. Put the little disc in there. And let's try it. Oh yeah, it works. So, uh, yeah, pretty funny. This, I had one as a kid. It, it looked exactly like that, really. From what I remember, I was very young. And, uh, shooting at my sister. My parents said, stop shooting at your sister. Did I listen? No, I kept shooting at my sister, so... That was the end of the gun. My dad saw uh, the end of that gun. <laughs> he smashed it on the ground, I think. Teach me a lesson. And it did. This right here. Now this is some of the grossest stuff that I find in lockers. Teeth. That is some teeth, teeth, teeth right there. And yes, I probably should be wearing gloves right now. Teeth are also kind of dirty. Um, but these have been sitting for probably 15 years. That's some big teeth right there. I mean, like, wow. Look at all the cavities in them. Yeah. Look at the cavities in that. Cavity, cavity, cavity. There's fillings all around it. You didn't, uh, yeah, you didn't brush enough. <laughs> brush your teeth, folks. All right, there's your daily reminder, daily lesson. You don't want your teeth to be ending up in an envelope and some weird guy buying the locker that contains it. Okay, next up for interesting finds. This right here. Uh, moldy, grody, but... I actually haven't even looked at this thing. We're going to look at it right now. It definitely looks kind of cool. Tequila Gunner, Habitate F44B. That looks pretty dope, right? It's some kind of mech warrior. Look at that. That's bad A, right? You know what I'm saying? Takara, just super rotten. The box has gotten rotten. It was in a moist environment somewhere. It's 25 bucks brand new. What's the date? I w I'm curious. Oh, wait. This is a different one right here. Is it? I think it's a different model altogether right here. Okay, I don't know what's going on in here. It looks like it may have... He started on it? I don't know. This one right here. What? I don't think this is the way they're supposed to work. Nesting boxes with models. Alright. I don't know. Cool stuff, but I don't think they're complete. Definitely a neat piece, though. I'm going to take this to the better flea market. I'll bring it out there. And if somebody wants it, I'll sell it cheap. It's cool. Next up on the cool finds. I got this box right here. I haven't really peeked around too much. I just pulled these two out right here. Star Wars, vintage Star Wars puzzles. So we had already found a bunch of these earlier. I'm not seeing the date on it, but I think it's probably 1977. Oh, it is right there, 1977 copyright. Okay, oh, it's right there too. 
1977. All right. Um, and then this right here, Star Wars. This definitely looks a little bit no more modern. 1996. Okay, I'm not as impressed with that. This is cool. Put that aside. We brought a bunch of those to the market. To the I'm sorry, to the toy show, and we sold those. And I think we sold them for 20 bucks each. A whole bunch. We were asking like I don't remember actually. Uh, 20 bucks each. Yeah, I think there were six, and we got 120 bucks for them. So, what's this? Omni jigsaw puzzle. Hmm. That's weird. Okay, these are always fun, right? Hmm. Try to bust it up. When you pull, it starts to open, so I guess you spill it out. Yeah, super cool. Uh oh, what's falling apart on this? Hmm. These little caps are falling off. What's up with that? I didn't even do anything. Wow, that kind of is not cool. Should be more durable than that. Oh, I see. Okay, these need to snap together. So, wow, that's a pain in the butt right there. So I see there's extra ones there, so maybe these do come off from time to time. But anyways, that was cool for like three seconds, and then Locker Nuts figured out how to break it. Um, but we'll bring that to the market. Yeah, I see it's missing a clip right there. Both these you got clips broken off. All right, that was going to the good market. Now it's not going to the good market. It's going to the Stockton market, aka not a good market. Okay, this right here, Zodiac Match, 1974. Wow, go with that. Huh? That sounds super lame. Jeez, everything I pull out, the pieces are all falling out. Um, booby trap. I don't know about value on that. It looks like a very old game now. All the pieces fell out in there. Eesh. I, would, I think I'm going to bring these to the better market. Just because of the age. It definitely gives it a little bit more interest. That's some interesting stuff in here. Look at this. Oh, this is made by Lego right here. Okay, wait a second. I'm going to pull that out. Z-War? Zener. Z-Nap? z, -nap? z -wop? What? I don't even know what that says. That's a bad font design, though. Uh, coming from my graphic design background, I do not approve. So, mm, Lego catalogs, 1998. Why do you need so many of these? I'm not sure. Znap, Znap, three five five one is the number. Um, hmm. all right. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This maybe is a little better right here. Check this out. Bionicle. I think these are somewhat collectible. I don't know either. Got a bunch of them though. Got six Bionicles here. Oh, I didn't realize that those are made by Lego. Okay. So, I don't know. We'll take, maybe we'll do a live auction with those. I, I don't know if the value really justifies it. And, it, you know, because I got to cover shipping. But um, it's interesting. I'll at least go to the better flea market. So, we're pulling out the better stuff right now. This right here, oil spill, game of strategy, and environmental impact sealed in the box. So, sealed makes it a little bit more interesting. Look at this right here. Gemico. That's a card. Wow. Okay, this is like a proof sheet from a print run of Gemico cards but i don't know why it's got that little sign on there i don't think that's worth anything but it's a little different a little different there's another old yeah, that's in here. here okay old game star wars puzzle Jeez, that's actually sealed sealed brand new it's not worth that much but hmm, i'll put it aside okay and then what's this zone systems zone systems and Nudist Camp Jigsaw Puzzle. This guy is a tripper. I'll tell you what. <laughs> All right, guys. Another update. So, going through this right here, this big box, it had mostly these games, board games. I'm pulling those out, just transferring to a different box because I could see below there's some bags in there, and that's kind of interesting. Sure enough, there's some interesting stuff. So look at this. One of those bags right here contains all of these dungeon dice monsters. And just like what we found earlier, but these, this is sealed. That's sealed. That's sealed. And that is sealed. These, I think, are 40 bucks each. I might be wrong. Well, actually, let's look it up. It is Iron Guardians Series 4 Yu-Gi-Oh. So um, those are sealed. I think they're 40 bucks each. I think I sold one very much like that. It was a different series, but it was still just like that sealed. Um, then look at this Game Boy Bo Jackson. I think it's just a box. Yeah, it's just a box. Box might be worth a few bucks. What is this? It's for the Lynx. Oh, that's like the Atari's answer to the Game Boy, I think. That's just a box also. Robotron 2004 and Zarlon Mercenary, also empty box. And then look at this Dungeon Dice Monsters 
This is uh, a starter set. Seven different figures in cards. So it does look like he opened it. Unfortunately, man, it looks like that's sealed right there. It looks like it's partially open. It really sucks if it wasn't open. It'd be worth a lot more, but I still think that's going to be worth some money. Four, three, five, seven, five. Uh, let's look that up. Hopefully we can get a value on that. And then this right here, just cool. I don't think that's super valuable, but Risk Star Wars Clone Wars Edition, and it's sealed brand new. But I'm not done. Let's dig in there and see what else we got. All right, this risk game, yeah, not bad. 40 to 50 bucks. Sold price, not bad. Okay, fridge roulette. And some, oh, Simpsons mini puzzles. Is that what those are? Puzzles? That's all right. Mm -mm. Stencils. <laughs> That's not what I was looking for. What's that? I don't know what that is. Okay, more mini puzzles there. Make an elephant puzzle. Huh. Arrange seven animal silhouettes to form the perfect shape of an elephant. That's different. International puzzles right here. Some metal ones. Not super high-end stuff. Not like the IPP stuff we've been finding. Yeah, that's kind of neat. A little slide puzzle. 3D. Tricky ickies. Cross three game. Magic block. These puzzles are pretty hard. Uh, surprisingly hard. Magic block too. Alright, so some more puzzles in here. More puzzles. Yep, 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 yep. What's that? Magic Sand Wand Challenge. Move the silver ball from one end to the other. That's different. Okay. Um, that's neat. It's a VHS Captain Harlock. It looks like an old anime VHS. Just the box, though. Okay. Lego manuals. Put those aside. A couple more Star Wars Lego manuals. There's a big Star Wars Lego manual. TIE Interceptor. That's cool. Another one. These books can have some value. Adam Squares, some kind of puzzle there. Porcelain Saki Cups. Okay, that's not a puzzle. Okay, I like the Saki Cups. Ooh, cool. Disco Puzzle, can you get it all together? Okay, and there's a Saki bottle right there to go with that. Okay. Some kind of building blocks there. Oh, oh, look at this. Digimon Booster Cards. Oh, I thought this was some Dollar Tree store stuff in here, but no. uh that is super good. Look at this. Series 3. That's sealed brand new pack of cards. This, I think, can be pretty, pretty good right here. So, what do we have here, guys? Looks like you only opened one of them. And what do we got? One. We got 20 closed packs of the Digimon. So, which one? Let's look this up. It's Series 3. All right. Digimon Monster. Digital Monsters, um, alright, we'll have to look it up just based on that because I don't see any other markings or indications of what to look it up as. That's really good right there. 20 of those. Potentially, I think those could be 10 bucks a piece. That'd be 200 bucks, if, if I'm right. And what do we got here? I don't think anything. Let's see. Some puzzles. Cheap puzzles. Alright. I think they're from the dollar store, perhaps. All right, found a couple of cool boxes here. This one has got some Star Trek toys, which we found a fair amount of Star Trek toys. This time, though, Johnny Lightning, which is cool. Um, hmm, those are almost the same. Hmm, okay. It's got a bunch of duplicates, I guess. Star Trek, there's something different. Star Trek, Star Trek, Johnny Lightning. That's neat, I like it, okay. And then over here, um, again, we just never found a big collection of magic. I'm still hoping, I'm holding on to hope that we're going to find some big binder or something with some magic cards. But here's a whole bunch of the wrappers, um, you know, the cellophanes or whatever. This box looks like it's all photos. That will have to get back to the owners right there. Um, but that, I think there might be a little bit of value in the foils. I'm not really sure. I'll put it aside. Uh, we'll figure that out later. This is kind of funny, it says road dots right there, and check this out. That's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. I think it's the first time I ever found that. Okay, this box is cool. Look at this. I see Star, um, sorry, not Star Wars, uh, di Legos, dinosaurs. It says it transforms. How cool is that? And look at this. This is sealed right here. Sealed brand new. Brand new Legos. That one, that one looks like the stickers come off. Yeah, he may have opened that one. This one looks good. And look at this one still. Good, 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 good. That's not all though. Look at this. Lego Studios. Um, that's sealed. Lego 7124. Hopefully we can get some prices on these. Um, that was 1354 right there. Oh my goodness, look at this. Life on Mars, that is sealed. That's number 7314. Lego Just Imagine, 1355. Oh, it's another Lego Studios. That's sealed. Dang, that's good. 
Oh, this looks interesting. It doesn't look like Legos. Is that a Legos? I think that's a Kinex or something. They got a whole bunch of Lego stuff in here. Look at that. Look at that. See a little Stormtrooper Lego in there? See that? Nice. Oh, this one's heavy. Why is that so heavy? Oh, it's all... Wait, it's all paperwork. Is that all Star... Uh, Legos? <laughs> I keep saying Star Wars for some reason. Is that all Lego manuals? I think it is. It might be Mega Bloks or something. That's Legos. There's Lego. Lego! There's tons of booklets in here. Great! What's this? It's a men's glove box. But there's more Lego, and those look a little bit older, too. Here. Bionicle with a Lego 8545. What's this right here? Mega Bloks. Um, I just really care if it's sealed or not. That one is sealed. That's sealed. Okay, that's good. Mega Bloks 9748. Let's pick that up. That's sealed. And there's Mega Bloks that's open. Oh, that's cool though. Galaxy Space Station. That's neat. That one's open though. Wait, is it? E yes, that one's open. Okay, and then here's some more Lego. That's just boxes of Lego. Let's see what's in here. Okay, there's a bunch of. I don't. I don't think those are Lego. They look like uh, Mega Bloks or something. They're different. A little different. And then this Mega Bloks there. Oh my goodness! Look at this. A whole bunch more manuals. Yeah. Tons of them. Wow, 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 wow. That's good. Okay, that's a very interesting box right there. There could be some value in there. All right, a couple more cool finds right here. Check this out. Snoopy Ice Hockey with Woodstock and his bird bath. And this is 19... 71 right there really cool stuff i wish we had found this before the uh toy show that we went to last weekend because they love the vintage stuff and oh yeah okay that's the bird bath right there there's a little snoopy pretty funny i can look that up and see if there's some value but this right here more really cool uh vintage computer games apple 2 and the 2e and the 2c right there breakers from broder bro and that is sealed brand new vintage stuff look at this plan 9 from outer space ms dos all right so cool sealed this one right here sealed but the seal is starting to, to tear but it's never been opened jewels of darkness firebird that's for the atari st and then lastly i got really excited when i saw this because i'm like oh my goodness dungeons and dragons in a box 1982 mountain of mirrors but uh, it's just a jigsaw puzzle still very very cool all right don't get me wrong it's still really really cool but not as cool as if it were dungeon dragons game uh booklet or pieces so anyways a little update there all right, guys, a couple cool things out of a box. It's been kind of sparse lately. Uh, these right here, Life Stones, it says. Life Stones by Koplau Games. Koplau Games, 1994. I think those are little markers to mark how much life you have, like for uh, Magic the Gathering and such. A couple little pewter figurines here. Can't really see the markings on it, but a little bit nicer pieces. Oh, this is, I think, cufflinks. Nope, they're earrings. <laughs> how funny. Earrings with the dices on it. Or dice? Die? Dice? Uh, some vintage buttons. I pulled these out just because I thought that was kind of funny. Vote Republican, less spending, lower taxes. Vote Democrat, more spending, higher taxes. 1987, so that's a vintage piece on that. Just kind of funny. Um, some miscellaneous little metal coins and stuff here. Aloha, Kauai. The Kauai dollar, I don't think so. It's just a souvenir thing, but kind of neat. All right, just little tokens and such. And then check this out. These little boxes here. This one's got some dice. Lake Tahoe on that. Seems like some nice, nice dice right there. And then this right here. Oh, yeah. I love finding these little brass dice. They're very heavy, high quality. It's just Taiwan. Those are nice. I found quite a few brass dice in this locker. This one right here, check this out. That's a little, 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 little tiny die. die. And I think that might be gold. Actually, let me take a look at that right now. 14 karat it says right there 14 karat got a little tiny gold die that's neat and then what is this lord and lady lucky dice 1992 okay oh boy okay i guess i can see why you can tell the boys from the girls there and uh three six all right that's novelty that's a little different dice than i've ever seen um yeah pretty funny okay guys check this out boom open that oh yes talk about star wars legos that is i think that's what that is tons and tons of them actually those look like the same got two of the same maybe i don't know look at all these guys whoa that's tons right tons and tons all right, maybe that's an exaggeration. It's not tons and tons, but that's a full bin. Now we understand why he had so many of those manuals and structure books. He's got a lot of them. 
Okay, guys, check it out. I'm I, I'm more than halfway through this uh, trailer, so that's good. I made a lot of progress today. I was going really fast. I didn't film very much because I'm just not finding like that much great stuff. And at this point, we found so much good stuff. It's really got to be something exceptional to get it on film, right? I found boxes and boxes and boxes of puzzles. And uh, it's just, how much can I show, right? How much can I show? So now that we're back here, I think this layer of boxes right here, we still have a little bit to go. This is from, you know, we unloaded three lockers. I think I'm on the end of the second one. I think that's the end of the second one. This metal rack and some of the items I see behind it were out of the first one that we loaded. So we're getting down to the last locker. The interesting thing is that that locker has a lot of like stuff that I think he picked up dumpster diving. So that probably won't get off the trailer. It'll probably stay on here and go straight to the flea market. And then probably a lot of it's going to the dump because that's where it was intended to go from the beginning. So anyways, um, I think one more day, if I had one more full day to spend here, I think I can get through it all. All right. I mean, I'm putting a lot of boxes aside and those are going to have to do a second pass, of course, puzzles and everything. We'll go through. Maybe we find surprises in there. We've done it before. We found a uh, really expensive Pokemon. Was it a Pokemon? Or was it Dragon Ball? No, it was Pokemon. I don't remember. It was one of the Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't remember. It's one of these games. It was in a toy box. It was with the micro machines and it was in a bag and it was like I think I sold it for 700 bucks or something. I don't remember right now. I'm getting tired. So anyways, um headed out. Uh that's gonna wrap this video, I think. If I have enough footage, we're gonna wrap it. If I don't have enough footage, we're gonna keep running it. Probably be back tomorrow. All right, thanks you guys for watching and uh we'll be back soon. Until then, good luck to you, God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Loganuts. <laughs> All right, guys, actually, we're not done with this unit or, you know, six units. There's one box left. This is right here. I still got a box. Yay. I brought it home a while ago. Oh, and it's heavy because I looked at it and what I see on top, I'm like, oh, no, that one we got to do right. We're going to take it home. It looks really good. You'll see in a second. So we do have one more box. Um, that's actually been in this room for months now. So but uh, I did want to just say about this this experience, this estate purchase. Uh, first of all, thanks again to my friend John for putting me in touch with the family uh, and making this deal happen, really. This has been about, I think, almost a year, maybe a year. Uh, it was definitely late last year when he first came up with the idea and said, hey, would you be interested in this? This family's looking for some help. And I said, absolutely. Sounds really interesting and different. And um, then I was talking to the family. It took them months to be ready. It wasn't until April. And I think in April, I was working on it for six months at that point. So it probably is a full year now because April was six months ago. Um, but anyways, um, great experience. I'm so glad that we we uh, waited. You know, basically we're patient or whatever to let the family go through the stuff and pull out the, the personal items and, and, and stuff that they wanted. And I don't think they took that much, but I think maybe they did take the magic collection because we never found the significant collection, which I'm pretty sure this guy had at some point. Uh, we just found a few magic items, really very little, but, um, but we have found great stuff. It's definitely been a lot of fun. We've been selling stuff in our live auctions. We've been selling stuff on eBay. We brought stuff to flea markets and everywhere we bring this stuff, people are pretty excited about it because it really is some special items. The guy was a, a very cool collector. So I consider us, us to be very blessed to have had this opportunity and experience. And, um, you know what, like I said, with the train locker and that gentleman passed away, this estate, obviously, the man passed away. Um, I hope that they, that, you know, they were collectors. They love these items. It brought them joy. And I hope that uh, wherever they are, they're looking down and saying, you know what? Um, I'm glad that other people are now enjoying it. And that gives them more joy too. I don't know what well, they're up above. They're plenty of, they're full of joy already. But um, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I think that bringing these items to a new uh, owner and collector where they're going to be appreciated and cherished all over again. That's what every collector I think hopes. But anyways, let's get to this last box and take a look and uh, see what's in there. I think it's good. Okay. All right, guys. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Look at this right on top. Uh, we've got Naruto and this is what made me say, whoops, hit the pause button. I have not dug in here, so I do not know. I'm already seeing stuff I didn't see before. Um, Naruto. This is a collectible card game. This is sealed brand new. Unfortunately, we've got a little dent here. That's going to devalue it a little bit. But still, this, I think, is a rare piece. We found a few Naruto, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but we found a few Naruto pieces. This is 2002, so it's 20 years old. That qualifies as vintage under most definitions. And, uh, yeah, brand new seal. The whole case of what's probably little booster packs. That's my guess. 
Mm, maybe. I mean, I don't know. It could be just... Actually, I don't see that. Maybe this is just a self-contained card game. Very cool. I think that's got some value. Hopefully, we can look that up. All right, we'll get some comps for you guys. Okay, next item. Oh, yes. Another Naruto collectible card game item. Shrink wrap brand new. This one I don't see any damage on. Maybe a little crease there. Now we're getting pretty picky, though. But the Path to Hokage. This is really good, guys. I mean, I think it is. I don't know. We'll look it up. Another one. Oh, I didn't realize there's this much. All right. Uh, man, good way to wrap this up. A little dent in the box right here. Naruto, the Path to Hokage. So that's the same series, it looks like, but different artwork on there. So, hmm. interesting. Oh, wait. Item number 14571. 14571. Okay. Hmm. Oops. Actually, go back to this one. This is copyright 2006. So it's 2002 there, but 2006 there. We go always go off the newest copyright date. So that's only 16 years old, but... I'm not concerned about that. I still think it's going to have some pretty juicy values. These as well, 2006, okay? There's another one. Again, different artwork. Same thing, Path to Hokage. Same item number. Different art. Different variations of the same thing, I guess. And again, different. Different but similar. Path to Hokage. And another pack, sealed brand new. All of them sealed brand new. Free comic book day. Okay, look at this. Sealed packs of Naruto. Well, booster packs, 2006 on that also, Path to Hokage. So what do we got here? We got a bunch of them. Got a bunch, got a bunch. Yes, there's more. Sweet. This has got a, oh, that one's tore open right here. Okay. Hey, let's take a look at this. Since it's already open, let's take a look at what they look like. Mm-hmm. Kind of like Pokemon or magic cards. Yeah. Naruto. I think there's value here. I really do. I really, really do. Oh, one open and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, sealed. All right. Something else in here. Oh, Lego Star Wars uh, instruction books. That's funny. Look at all these Star Wars. That, and we found all those Lego Star Wars. So that goes with it, I'm sure. Free comic book day, a little swag right there. Yeah, this is a good way to wrap up this locker. I'll tell you what, this is a good little box, I can tell. Star Stream, Adventures in Science Fiction. Got some comic books, but what is that? 79 cents? What an odd number. Like, why isn't it 75 cents or 80 cents? It's 79 cents. Those look a little older, too. Oh, that was a $10 on it, whatever this is. Star Stream, Adventures in Science Fiction. Okay, we got a pack of them here. Looks like at least four or maybe five comics. All right, and then we got some Star Wars books. And that's good, too, but not as good. Visual Dictionary. Okay. Star Wars Attack of the Clones, Visual Dictionary. Star Wars Incredible Cross Sections, that is neat. Oh, so cool, look at that little scene there at the chess table there. Um, yeah, very cool, very cool. Nerd stuff. Star Wars Episode One, Incredible Cross Sections. Similar, Attack of the Clones Cross Sections. Revenge of the Sith Cross Sections. Huh? Another episode one, cross sections. Hey, what? It's the same. He's got two of those. There's another visual dictionary, episode one. Episode one, inside the worlds of Star Wars. These are all the hardbacks, too. So, coffee table. Ooh, and I see some comics. Yes. Yes. Ooh, and I see Star Wars comics. Star Wars comics can be pretty good. We've already found some in this locker, and we looked them up. They had... Some of them have some decent values. All right. Sergio Aragonis. Aragon? I don't know. Boogeyman. Okay, that's good. Star Wars Tales of the Jedi Redemption. Another redemption. So this is number two of five, three of five, four of five, five of five. Where's one of five? Got to find one of five uh, to have the complete set. Star Wars Last Commando. Jedi Academy. Okay, so I'm not going to go through every title here, but I will have to research these because, like I said, some of these do have some significant value. And significant for me on a comic book would be like, I don't know, 20 to to 100 bucks. I think would be significant. Maybe, I mean, of course we hope for more, but these aren't super old, you know. They're $2.95 books. They're not like old books. So anyways, yeah, we've got a lot of stuff. Okay, then we got some Magic the Gathering. We found some of those before as well. 
comic books. Alien vs. Predator. I think some of those can have value. But look at this, number 44. That's 4 of 4. Wildcats. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And what we got here? Star Wars. Obi... No, Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan. The Aurorient Express. Star Wars Stack Hyperspace War. Star Wars Starfighter Crossbones. It's good. It's good, guys. Star Wars Tales. This is good stuff. Anything Star Wars is pretty decent. Pretty all right. Tag and Bink are dead. Jedi Quest. Hmm. So I do have some Star Wars books put aside that we didn't have complete sets on, so these could be the missing pieces. There's a kind of a, a wicked cover right there. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. All right. It's good. All right, guys, we're at dinner, and we're going to celebrate my mom's birthday, which is coming up in a couple days. And uh, this is a restaurant that we used to go to as kids. Yep. Uh, yes. Well, we were kids. <laughs> yeah, Jan, too. We grew up in this town, Fremont, and this is Papillon's. The girls are trying one of our favorite dishes, which is escargot. What does it You going to try it? Put it in your mouth and a little reaction video. Like yeah. Once you guys are ready. Let me just split this in half and then I'll just put it in Oh, here we go. No. I'll take that right here. Alright, got some brie. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that doesn't seem. Oh, there's. Wait, so is this. Yes. Just put it in, but it's a sea snail. So it's like a sea snail. Yeah. Reaction video. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Right? It's so good. It is good, huh? Okay, it's dinner time. Mm. We've got mm -hmm. beef wellington mm. over here. Oh my goodness. A little filet for Miss Richie Rich over here. This Salmon is done for Jan. Grace. Yeah, okay. Another beef wellington, Janet. Mm. And then I got yeah. the chicken cordon mm. bleu, which is stuffed with the like, crab meat. Oh my All right, <laughs> look at that. Yeah, that boy. Is beautiful creme brulee, brown sugar creme brulee with yeah. mango. Sorbet. Wow, that's beautiful. The sorbet is really pretty. I got the same thing. We got uh, affogato, oh. vanilla ice cream, some mild. ganache, and with a shot of espresso. Oh. Camille got a <laughs> affogato without the <laughs> sauce. So mm. she like it. Grace, what'd you get? I got cheesecake. She's cheese sharing with her mom. Housemate. The restaurant is called Papillon, which is French for butterfly, and they put the little butterflies mm -hmm. in there. I did not know that. Didn't you know? Really? You didn't? I Happy never one. put that together. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you it's go. a butterfly, honey. Okay, guys, this is not books. This is wine. Look at all this wine in here. Saddleback Cellars 2006 Petite Verdot, Napa Valley. This is a good stuff right here, but I don't know if it went bad. It might still be good. There's another Saddleback 2005 Cabernet Sauvignon. Oh, ho, ho. 